Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. I am here today with a sit down video. Yes, have not done one of these in a little while. I have my vlogs. Before this sit down video, I have a vlog going up. So if you watch vlogs, that would be great. I do encourage you to watch that vlog actually from me because I do have some sentiments in it and some sort of updates on how I am going and how my family is going uh, in the current situation in the world. I want to take a minute to say to all my subbies and followers and any viewers that have just tuned in, maybe you randomly clicked on this video, my deepest sentiments to every single person in the world. I know I do actually have a large subscriber database in all different areas, such as Europe, such as Italy. My heart goes out to you, such as huge following in America. My heart goes out to you in all corners of the world. This is a pandemic. We are all touched by it. I was struggling yesterday. I'm feeling a lot more galvanized today. And I do want to disclaim that this is a luxury haul from my trip to Melbourne three weeks ago. A lot has changed in three weeks. If you are going to leave negative, hateful comments, don't even waste your time. There is no need in the current state of the world to spread more negativity or be angry. Honestly, it is just beyond what is going on in the world and we need to stick together. I put a poll up on Instagram, I'll throw it in here, asking my true subbies and followers what they wanted to see right now with the state of the world. What is tasteful, what do they wanna see? And 99.9% .9 of you responded to that. Keep going with normal content. Keep going. Just please remain normal. We want to come home to some normalcy and see our usual Jerusha. So that is what I'm doing. I've woken up this morning much more galvanized. Like, yes, this is what I do. People out there are losing their jobs. The economic impact is unbelievably globally unbelievable the impact that this is having. So I just feel like every single person in the world is affected. Everyone is affected. There's not one person left out and this is my job. So this is what I do as income and I have to be a huge part of the breadwinning in this family as well. So I have to keep going with my content and this is it. I'm gonna to come to you guys with reviews. We're gonna hit it hard. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna review every bag and item that I have whether I've used it or not I'm just going to show you we want eye candy we want color and happiness at least I do I look for the videos that really lift my spirits and make me feel happy and that is why I am back here for you guys I will mention what I'm wearing and what is on my lips because that is my thing I do this is my other wife housewife wife housewife 1950s kind of dress from Oasis on ASOS. I will link it below. I always link everything you see I'm wearing or any kind of lipstick or anything, I will link it below in the description box below. However, I will mention on my lips, I have MAC Whirl. There is the color there and it's kind of a deeper berry. As lipstick on top, again, I have my Chanel um, uh, Eternal 116. A lot of you reached out to me saying that you picked this up. This is their velvet matte and it's kind of, this is the Marvia one so it's more of a purple undertone rather than there's a nude one that I have as well. And a lot of you reached out to me and were like, yes, I got it too. It's so nice. This is a matte lip. You don't have to go ahead and put gloss on it. But just then I found this in my handbag because I was just putting my handbag together. And I was like, oh, I might put this on. It's the Dior Lip Maximizer. So this is the plumping effect lip maximizer. They're super famous uh, Dior Lip Maximizer. It's got a little bit of a tint of color in pink and then it's got the tingling sensation and I've just dabbed it in the middle of my lips and that is what's going on. Okay, straight into this. So this collective haul is from my trip to Melbourne that I took three weeks ago with my mum to visit my god sister and my godmother 
um, my god sister was on Dancing with the Stars. If you followed that, you would know. And my godmother was in town working on her foundation and her cancer and wellness clinic. I will link it all below. I will also link those three vlogs below. If you haven't seen them, maybe you want entertainment. Go back and watch them, even if you don't watch vlogs. It's fun to maybe start something new. I'm gonna start out with Sephora. These were just pickups that I grabbed in the Sephora in the city centre mall. It was a really nice Sephora and I have actually never been in that city centre mall and it's really cute. So these are the items I grabbed. First up was a new beauty blender. This is probably my 10th beauty blender in life. I probably always, if not a couple of times, maybe two times, go for different colors. So I went back to the bright pink one, which was their original color. So another one of those. These are all from Sephora Australia. I will link them all below anyway, so that you can see these items for yourself. Maybe they will work for yourself. I was after one. No, I know they don't come in individuals, so I already had known that, but I do have the full Tartes Pro palette. Uh, my favorite transition color for the lid that I wear every single day when I do makeup like this is Innocent on the Tartes Pro palette. Trust me, this is the most amazing color. I didn't want it in like an individual color, but I definitely wanted it in like a quick mini palette and they didn't have it. However, they have this little mini Tartes on the go. Ta oh, sorry, Tartlet. God, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of tarts going on. So close to the color Innocent. I was swatching it up with the girl. She helped me. She was so helpful. And lastly, the main thing that I went for, if you watch those vlogs, was the YSL blurring primer. This is their really famous blur primer. Comes in the pretty gold packaging. Everything with YSL is just, it's so beautiful because of their packaging. Everything about their packaging makes you want to just buy everything, even if it doesn't really work. So it's all gold. The blur primer itself has kind of gold iridescent shimmers in it, I would say, like a little bit like flex, but they don't come out as glitter on your face, obviously, it rubs in. But this is a really nice size primer. I'm so used to um, Benefits Pore Professional, which is just in the little tube. And I mean, you only need a, like a tiny little five cent piece of it, a uh, coin size dollop. What am I saying? You only need a small spot, like spot of, what am I saying? You only need a small spot of it. Ah, <laughs> what are you saying? You only need like a tiny pump of it. It goes a long way. It's true. And these are like those silicone kind of um, primers. So it's got that really smooth finish. You can really rub it in. Okay, moving on to Lux. The one thing I did know I wanted to have a look at in Melbourne if I was going to head into the city uh, on Collins Street is the Gucci because I wanted to look at these. Is a hundred percent, one hundred percent Miss Karis's fault. Hi, Karis. LV Lover CC. She is one of my best friends here on YouTube. She got started in YouTube couple of years after me however we've talked as friends and when we were having our babies we were chatting she raves about these quite a few items in this haul is because of Miss Karis I'm loving her videos right now she's so positive and uplifting and I just love watching her and she just gives me that really nice feeling I will link her channel below so if you want to go watch follow my friend Karis she's gorgeous she has these raves about them so here we go Beautiful Gucci satin silk um, dust bags, two of them. Come. Ta da! Oh, it's so pretty. They're pretty. Oh my gosh, they're so sophisticated. I literally feel like such a Upper East Side housewife. <laughs> If, I, if I'm rocking these around town. They're so pretty. They're coming off pretty true to color. I have the Prince Towns. These are the Brixton Gucci loafers or drivers, loafers, I think they come under. So this is the Brixton and there is the Jordan, which is the same shape. However, 
On this style, you have the horse bit, like so, and then you have a full back. But as you can see here, there is the crease. So there's a sew line, and that is because this back, like when, when we were little, do you remember? Like if you stood on the back of your shoes, your mum would always say, don't step on the back of your shoes. Don't crush them down like your school shoes. Well, they made a pair that do that. So they can become slides like so. Like over time, you can just slide your foot in, smash the back down and not really care. Then flip it back up if you want to keep it as a full loafer. These pink Brixton uh, convertible back loafers so essentially kind of two in one I guess a full loafer and then a slide came in at a hundred oh sorry I wish came in at 1010 Australian dollars and Alex was my SA so that is the first purchase they will actually go really nicely with this dress I'm wearing I will stand up and show you in a cutaway okay and then I don't know why I just started going a little bit crazy they had all their new uh, lipstick range out. So he showed me the jewelry section. With all my Gucci jewelry, fashion jewelry items, I have not really had that. So I've kind of been lucky. There's been no chipping or anything like that with their pearls. Their boxes are so gorgeous. Okay, so here is the little baggie up close so you can see it with the Gucci on the front. This is so gorgeous. This is the red snakes. So there they are. I am totally in love with pearls at the moment. I definitely think it's because of my Gigi and Pearl earrings that I picked up in the Sydney Gucci boutique. And when I asked Alex if they just do plain pearls, this was as close as they had to that. So it was like a little flower detail with rhinestones in it and the two pearls. So delicate and really, really pretty and not too big or overwhelming. So I just thought they were really lovely. So that little pearl pair with the flower detail, the rhinestone detail, they came in at 540 Australian dollars. Okay, next up, I moved over to the makeup section, which I was telling you about with Alex, and he showed me all of the new lipsticks. This packaging of the new Gucci collection of lipsticks is so, so pretty. Are you ready to see this gorgeous packaging? Packaging. Hopefully my camera picks every inch of it up. Ta-da! Can we see it? Look at this! It is giving me vintage, um, great Gatsby kind of antique vibes. It's got all that like inscribed sort of geometric yet jacquard kind of print on it. It's in beautiful gold. It has the stripe kind of very Versace sort of vibe on the bottom here and it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. When I saw the packaging I was like oh, I need it. He was like do you? And I was like no. On top it said Gu it just says Gucci engraved and then it's just the plain gold bullet like so. And this is the color I chose. How 90s vibe is this? It's not too orangey like they're brick orange. They have a more brick kind of color, but it's really deep kind of berry slash burgundy. I don't know if that's good description. It's probably not. So it's their satin collection. So yeah, they're Rouge Alives Satin. This is their mild red rosewood color and it's got Gucci in the bullet there. You can see around the bullet. So the rosewood color, it is gorge. Okay, and last up from Gucci. Oh, this is so fun. I feel like I've missed you guys. I feel like we're just sitting down and hanging out and talking lux and can show you things like a show and tell from out of the bag another little serpent box let's show you <laughs> what happened in here I fell in love okay I fell in love with this you stacking up the figures it's not a great buy because it is pretty pricey for what it is but when he showed me it I because I'm just obsessed with pearls at the moment 
I just went mad. Actually, shout out to my beautiful friend Mel, Mel Soldera. She probably will love this too. She is loving thread through jewelry. So this is thread through earrings. They they were kind of a massive trend, probably about mm, I want to say six, seven years ago and in more fast fashion lines and now luxury fashion houses and fine jewelry fashion houses are doing thread throughs. So they obviously just thread through the holes in your ears or the hole in your ears and dangle like slow, like so, sorry. This Gucci one is weighted with what looks to be like an arrowhead and that's how it locks in. Then at the front here we have the featured pearl and this pearl actually has a GG logo on it. Let me see if I can spin it around to show you guys. Hopefully you can see it there. And it goes up on a chain to a mini pearl. It's so pretty, a mini little pearl. Like so, you've probably seen a lot of these earrings around. Maybe not with this backing, just with the post. I want to put this on because I just fell in love with it so much. Oh my God, I'm done, I'm gone. Everyone needs this. It's not cheap, but everyone needs this. Mel Soldera, if you do not get this earring girl, I tell you, look at this. Oh my God, without my big hoop, it would look cuter obviously look cuter but even just keeping my big hoop in so cute let me tell you the damage came in at $435 that's expensive that's really expensive but so cute oh my god I love it and it's so lightweight it's really comfortable let's move on to Mr. Vuitton also had a few things on my radar to look at or to ask about in Louis Vuitton in Melbourne on Collins Street shout out to Shannon Shannon the client service or the client advisor in Louis Vuitton down there was fantastic first I will start up with this that Shannon had in stock and that I had been looking at online to pick up anyway. So when she had it in stock, I was like, let's do it. Let's try it on. Let's play with it. Oh girl, she has done a hard knot here. A hard knot. It is locked down. Fort Knox. <laughs> Ribbon off. Ginormous box. However, it is flat packed. But that's okay because I was traveling. In the dust bag we have the infamous Louis Vuitton Never Fall in the most famous size ever. And in my opinion and recommendation, the most sought after user friendly size. If you're unsure of sizes, just go for the Goldilocks size, which is this, the MM, the medium. And I had done a giveaway with this beautiful bag. Shout out to Sarah. Hi, Sarah. She won my giveaway of this gorgeous bag. And I was always think, and then I bought one for my sister-in-law and every time it came in, I was like, this is such a better fit for me. I knew that this size is just so perfect for my lifestyle. I do use my GM Neverfall. I'm using it right now. I brought it up here to show you. However, a subby did ask me if I'm retiring my Speedy 25 Bandolier, why am I not retiring my Neverfall? It's your one bag tag. And the answer is because there's not that much vachette. Like, yes, it looks worn, but it doesn't look as worn as my Speedy 25, my Speedy B 25. Plus, I always said it's just in retirement. I never said I was done with the bag. So that is the reason for also grabbing this bag. Plus, it's really hard to get your hands on. So you know, if an SA has it or online has it and you were thinking about it before another price increase, that is the Neverfull MM in monogram canvas is what I grabbed. It is the Neo uh, Neverfull, so you get the pouch inside like so in the MM size pouch that goes inside and attaches 
on the strap. I can do a review for you guys on it if you like. I can do a comparison with my GM, which is right here. Wow, look how small the MM looks next to it. I did comparisons when I did my giveaway and I showed you my sister-in-laws. I've just taken the uh, internal pouch off for a second because I want to show you this amazingness. This is my Samorga bag organizer that fit in what bag did it fit in? I think, it, oh, it fit in my Birkin. That's right, in my gold Birkin, 35 centimeter. But that is perfect because it will fit inside this Neverfull perfectly. If ever there was a bag that I suggest, strongly suggest a bag organizer for, it is this bag. And this is my Samorga double, uh, double, I guess drink holder layout. So it's got the two uh, kind of pouch drink holders on the side. I just put my sunnies or my glasses, reading glasses in here or my wallet. Samorga have so many colors to choose from. I blog for Samorga. I have a discount code for 20% off at checkout. I will leave it linked below for you guys so you can see it's not an affiliate code. But if you are looking to get a bag organizer, please use my discount. It is huge. This, as I said, was for my um, for my Birkin, 35 centimeters. So it's a little bit too long. The base of this is 33, I think, 33 centimeters. So it's a little bit long, but that makes it super snug. The only areas where it's kind of rippling is on the sides that you can see there. Uh, but it's snug. It is exactly the same color. It's perfect. It will do to protect the inside of my Neverfull and give it shape. These are the best organizers. They are the original Korean felt, double felt organizer. I want to really point that out. There are other felt organizer companies from Korea. I'm not going to mention their name but it is a complete copycat business, okay? Samorga was the first business. I've been working with them from way back when, way back when you can see my videos and they are the original felt bag organizer from Korea and they are amazing. This is kind of perfect to transfer them out and then, you know, sort of see what you've got in your GM, which is obviously ginormous. So, Sunnies from Celine. These are my Andreas. We have to try them on. It's gonna be a long video, but we're here all day. Bam! Then I have in this back pocket my car key, key fob, sorry, on my dragon strap and my round coin purse. I have my emery board from Fashion File. We'll stick that in there. Then I have my phone, which is iPhone 8 Plus. I'll put that in the side. It's looking a little bit like so. So they're on the back sort of wall there. I have my reading glasses from Chanel. I'll pop them in the other little drink holder on the side. I have my tissues, very much needed. I have my hand sanitizer wipes and my face mask, very much needed. I have my cosmetic PM, so I'll put that in the middle of the whole, all of the compartments. I have my six key, so I picked this up and I showed it in a vlog. I don't know if you watched that vlog, but this is my six key holder, which is great because you can fit a card in it. I repurchased this. And then shout out to my gorgeous Monique. Monique has started her own YouTube channel now. Yay, my Emerald Queen, my subby. Now she started her own YouTube channel. I will link it below. Shout out to you, babe. She's doing so amazing. If you want to see the most amazing collection, please go and subscribe to Monique. She's so good. She gifted me this monogram zippy coin purse from Louis Vuitton as a gift. And then she, in her recent video, repurchased this for herself because she missed her one because she gave it to me. My hand sanitizer, and this is a compounded hand sanitizer, which is a little bit stronger. So if you're obviously run out of hand sanitizer, if you have a compounding pharmacy in your area that, that obviously can compound, they may make up a stronger hand sanitizer and that's what these guys have done. And lastly, I have my mini pochette. My mini pochette is in Damiri Bin. It was like one of the first SLGs I got. It is so gorgeous. 
Uh, I know a lot of um, other friends in the Lux and Subbies got this Damio bin after my review and love it just as much. I am not getting rid of this. I had a subby ask, sorry, that's the GM empty. I had a subby ask me, oh my gosh, Jerusha, you're changing everything to monogram, so are you gonna get rid of your Damier bin mini pochette? No, absolutely not. I love this. I have wanted a monogram. I've wanted to add a monogram. However, they're so hard to get your hands on. Even all my secret contacts can't get me one right now. Uh, but I will wait for one. But at in the meantime, I wanted to show you guys this because I was like, what? I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. This is the small pouch with the chain. I don't have to have the chain, but this is the small pouch from the multi pochette handbag. This is the small pouch in monogram. I was just kind of like, it's a wee bit bigger than a mini pochette, but hello. How crazy, if I wanted it in monogram, I've just got this guy. Like, what are we talking about? It's the same thing. That is my mini pochette in Damier Ibin. We will put that in the big compartment as well. And that is everything in, oh my gosh, I'm so in love. Okay, I'm totally gonna keep everything in here and just keep using it. Ah, that is good. Let's show you a shot of the inside. Look at that. So bam, that, that literally shows you what a bag organizer's job is for. This thing is so well organized and packed. Sure, I'm sure it will become a jumble once I start using it with my babies and everything, but everything I need is in there. It is weighty, definitely with the smallest, like with thin straps, but I tell you what, it's good. It is so good. We gotta finish up, this is gonna be hella long. Like, I don't even know how long this is gonna be, but it's pretty crazy. I'm gonna finish up with this guy. It was in another bag, but yes. Here is this little box. If you saw that vlog, as I say, oh girl, oh girl, she nodded this as well. We got it off. If you watched that vlog, you saw this as well. This was just a too cute to pass up thing. Like the last um, haul that I said, that I showed you these little uh, featured, shall we say, animals. This is just too cute. I wanted to see this. This is a massive shout out to my gorgeous BJ Taylor O2. I saw her, I saw her on Instagram purchase the cat. Is it, is it the cat? Yeah, the dog, no, the cat. The cat. Wait, is it the dog or the cat? I'm not quite sure. The cat version of this little keychain bag charm. So this is the mouse, the little white mouse with the little trunk. Like he's got, it's not a trunk. It's like a little um, key pull. Oh my God, is that not adorable? And then on the back has the micro monogram. Is that not adorable? It is the insanely small, monogram it's smaller than the um nano monogram or uh the mini monogram print it's tiny it's micro size you get the uh claw clasp hook there and you get a key ring as well both engraved with louis vuitton this is on the side at the moment it's the little mousy i thought it would go so cute with my AirPod holders in the matching mouse, and um, I can have that for my key fob as well. Okay, and the price of the mousey came in at $655 for the mouse, and it's M69014. Okay, and lastly, to finish up this collective haul, I do hope you have enjoyed this so far. It is going to be long, definitely. So here is my proof of purchase. I will share the price with you. This was picked up at Sydney Maison. Mum threw me out the car, if you watch the vlog, as I say. And this pair of sunglasses was 100% because of Karis. Here is the beautiful box. You get the um, care booklet, the big thick booklet there. Navy blue uh, sunglass case. The big square sunglass case that's magnetic like so. The beautiful inside of it is like 
uh, a micro suede lining and then it's got Louis Vuitton there and you can see a little dust baggie. These dust baggies are so nice. They are so, they're like the Capucins bags. So it's got Louis Vuitton on the front and the little drawstring. And these guys, I went mad to find when I saw them on Karis in her vlog, the same vlog as the Spring Street uh, handbag that I went mad for. When I saw these reflectors, I was like, yes, these are amazing. I didn't get my hands on any of like the Ray-Ban reflector sunglasses when they were going sort of mad. Um, so I definitely wanted to try these on. And when I saw George Street had them, I was like, yes, honey, we have to go and try them on. So bam, they are so edgy. They are so just glamorous and big, you know, and I love that about them, but they're so lightweight guys, like really lightweight, not heavy, not weighing your nose down. The gold trim is really nice kind of contrast to the big silver lenses. I loved the Ray-Ban reflectors. I tried them on once in Hong Kong when they first came out and they were nicely weighted as well. I can definitely see why people just were so drawn to those and that is definitely what these sunnies are about. What's so great about these sunnies is that they come in an east-west version. So that means that the nose pieces here are wider so it sits higher or lower on your nose depending on your face shape okay so yes they are called I feel pretty and they th that those actual ones were in the uh, east so they sit higher yep so they were in the east nose piece it, it didn't really matter I tried on west ones in Melbourne uh, a version of them with the nose pieces and it was fine either way. They came in at 850 Australian dollars. So still staying under the thousand bracket for reflector sunnies, especially from Louis Vuitton because they can just kind of charge whatever they want now for their sunnies. Okie dokie, that wraps it up for me. I don't know how long this video will be, but I have been sitting here filming for a very long time. I may have to edit quite a lot of talking out, but if you want to sit here with me and just talk, let's talk fashion, let's talk luxury, let's go over bags, let's review bags, let's compare bags, just like this, comparing this to the GM. I know I get so many questions about a lot of the classics from Louis Vuitton, a lot of the classics from Chanel. What do you prefer? What do you think? If you want me to start doing Q&A videos, I will also start doing them. I know that I've said there's a lot out there that a lot of Lux girls do their Q&A videos and do them really, really well. I will start doing them too. I will do anything you want. Let me know how you're feeling. Please comment below. Let me know how you're getting through this time. If you love, you know, getting online and seeing luxury and fashion and just feeling really good and taking your mind off it, then I am here for you. I really am. I will be. I want to do this to boost morale, okay? Uh, that is what I'm here for. I am not bragging. I'm not sho shoving it in your face. If I talk about handbags, it is purely just a hobby and spreading the, uh, you know, the love of fashion and talking and getting everybody's positivity up. Let me know how you're going in the comments below. Let me know if you like this video, guys. Please show me you like it by giving me a thumbs up. Giving us thumbs up on YouTube, especially right now, is really important because content is being canned, it's being canceled, comments are being disabled. And there's not really a lot of people in the headquarters of Google YouTube. So please go ahead and give me a thumbs up to show that the content streaming and trafficking is all in goodwill and that you like my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and come and join me for a bit of escapism in a little bit of luxury and a little bit of fashion. Let's just all relax, grab a cup of tea, we're all at home, and really try to bring it down, zone down and relax. I hope everybody stays safe out there. Please take care of your loved ones, your elderly, 
uh, loved ones or anyone that's in a high risk category, please take care of them. They are most important and reduce your contact with everyone else so we reduce the curve, we flatten the curve purely for the health system so they're not overwhelmed. Thanks so much guys for watching, take care, peace.